I deal with Yankees fans, and I and I, this is how I, I I describe it to White Sox fans when they're like, "You're fucking crazy for rooting for the Yankees over the or the Guardians over the Yankees." And I'm like, "You guys don't have to deal with Yankees fans. I do." Which I mean, you don't really have to deal with Yankees fans that much, Dave. I, I deal with them pretty significant, not amount. to the way that like these guys do. Like that's when I was talking to when we came out here we were doing the streams and you see there's like six Guardians fans sitting there and there's like eight Yankees fans there there's all the Mets fans walking around and shit that's like having a deal with it when you come in and you lose and you know that fucking Rico or Clemmer or KFC is gonna be sitting there and being like how's it game last night for the most part we don't really it's just a couple guys in your DMs are being on Twitter it's not it's, really that it's for more the most than a part couple. it's a it's a lot I mean for the most part you're also on you know doing. Calling them greasy cocksucking scumbags. Yeah, I know, and I, I like that. It's fun like that. How did it start again? Was it the I, uh, and I said year? entering the 2021 season yep. that the Yankees rotation was Garrett Cole and four question marks. Now, at that time, and I blogged this. I, I've talked about it ad nauseum since then. It was Garrett Cole. Uh, Montgomery, who was coming off of two seasons where he had like 30 innings pitch max, Tommy John, uh, Severino had him pitched. Uh, Nestor Cortez, no one knew who the fuck he was at that point. Um, Jamison Tyon, who had been he had cancer, injuries out the ass. And then Corey Kluber, who was on the complete downswing and also injured. That was the rotation. Even if those guys would have went one through five in the Cy Young at the end of the year, that didn't mean what I said at the start of the season was incorrect. And Yankees fans yeah, just you shit. Didn't, you didn't say four bumps. No, I said four question marks. That's and fair. you can go and dig this up. And it was four question marks to start the season. They went fucking batshit on me. Hubs was trying to roast me. Uh, Marty Mush, like, I don't know who even gives a shit about what he has to say. <laughs> Rest of Yankees fans, you fucking idiot. And then Corey Kluber ended up throwing a no-hitter, like, early in the season. Uh, I think it was against Tampa. Don't you have the same relationship with Red Sox fans though? Because you no, I used like, to, but now is like, yeah, now now it's it's like 1984, where like East Asia. You think you're hanging on to it a little bit too much though, because it was 2021. But I, I, I do think if the Red Sox were knocking on the door of the World Series, that you would hate them too. You would hate them more. Uh, I no, because I've I've seen it since then. Okay. It's all about yeah. who is more natty in your DMs and on Twitter. Yeah, I I, I kind of hate Rangers fans and New York fans right now just because the Patrick Kane stuff. Yeah. Like it's it's every day. Like every day I get a tweet and it's just like so when you're saying you don't have to deal with it, it's just like yeah, not really. But I'd rather deal with like a human being in the office than <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, I see Tom I don't Lay know every day. Him. Yeah, Tom's our Tom's sweet. Tom's a cool guy. Tom's yeah, a cool producer. Tom's a sweet dude. That's yeah. the only nice thing I'm going to say about this show. Fuck you, Tom. Hope the Jets lose. No, I actually hope the Jets win, but um, if you had like a shit, if you had someone talking shit to you. Yeah. I don't know. It's probably think. one of my favorite White Sox Day videos of all time. What's that? It was the Field of Dreams game. That was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> oh I'll, that will be coming back if the Guardians. Oh, I don't know if you can do it for the Guardians. I've. Oh, Chief. The Yankees Don't try to put that in their fan box. base <laughs> shit talk to Yale Central Dave in a pitch black room more than <laughs> playing Frank anything. Sinatra. Uh, I I understand, but like if they lose to an AL Central team, deducting the chorus with that, his fingers. That, see, like I always hate when the SEC was like, oh, like they have like the conference. Like you can't like just be like I'm rooting for the division. I'm, it's not. It's not like that. But it's but it, you know. It's, if they lose to an AL Central team, the AL the the division that they just shit talk constantly, constantly, yeah, then I will my trolling will be biblical. Yeah, the AL Central is a stain on baseball. To it's not out, any worse than I'm the saying to outside NL of the AL Central, dude. People don't shit on the NL Central nearly as bad as people say. People they think should the be. AL Central is a wasteland. If you're if you're an NL East, NL whatever. If you're AL East, if you're on the coast. And you're playing like a midweek series against the Royals or something. You're just it's me. It's as meaningless as it gets. I think the guys outside the same thing about the Pirates or the Brewers. Reds. I still think these guys like the Pirates though. I don't even know what that means. I'm saying the AL Central has the worst branding, period, in baseball. 
Well, it's, it's I'm not saying it's bad baseball. I've been no, tell, saying it, the Guardians are good value. I've been riding the Guardians and took them big in the first. But it's um, exactly to his point earlier about how there's no like traditional rival in the Central. It's because there's no traditional power. Like the Dodgers and the Giants hate each other because they're always it goes all the way back to the days in New York. They're always yeah. battling for the same shit. Red Sox and Yankees. It was always the Red Sox were buttoning up against the Yankees. The AL Central is just like well, five cheap teams. Yeah, yeah. Like, Dodgers yeah, spent money before it just the guy goes died. and goes in cycle. The Royals have their turn. Like, the we Rangers have we have, have plenty of smirk. Guardians fans that work for Barstool Sports. I never ever go at it with them uh, on on Twitter or private conversations or really anything. Yeah, they're right. harmless because we just like there's no there's not a rivalry really. It's right. just you're. I think a whole it, rivalry is divulged from dude, all their good players. players end up, if you're an Indians fan or Guardians fan, you're not walking around like thumping your chest. So you're just like, well, we haven't won a World Series since 48. Right. You know, like they're pathetic. Everybody who's sweet leaves. The Dolan families, they're like the Fuck them. fifth or sixth richest family in baseball. They have the 26 highest payroll this year. They just ship everybody out. They don't give a fuck. 